Hey everybody, it's Janice from Creating Through Chaos. Today we're gonna make these little bees out of clothespins. A lot of people have been making these beehives from the flower pots at Dollar Tree wrapped with the nautical rope. I found the bees at Hobby Lobby, but a lot of people don't have access to Hobby Lobby or a craft store to be able to get the bees. So today we're gonna make our own. The first thing you need is one of these clothes pins that have the open end. They're one of the older type of clothes pins. You're gonna need some wire. This is a 22 gauge wire and it's a lot easier to, to bend and manipulate. Going to need some yellow paint. I chose King's Gold Apple Barrel from Walmart, it's 50 cents some black spray paint, I mean uh, acrylic paint, also from Walmart, 50 cents, and a pair of cutters that will cut the wire, and a pair of needle nose pliers. This is so that you can get rid of the rough edges and so you can make the little loops for their antenna. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna cut yourself a length of wire. And you're gonna want it, I don't know, pretty decent size, maybe 18 inches, maybe maybe 16. And the first thing you're gonna do, now that you have your wire cut, is you're gonna make your first loop for his wings. So you're gonna make it however big you want the wings. So I chose about this size. So you're gonna take and just loop the wire, and then you're gonna take and twist the wire around itself. now you have one loop. I'm sure that there's an easier way to make these, but this is just how I've been doing it. Then you're going to take the other side of the wire and make another loop. And you're gonna meet the part that you already twisted in the center. And then you're gonna just start spinning that wire around the center. Once it's, you feel like it's secure enough, take your wire cutters and snip it. And then there's two little, I don't know if you can see, pokey pieces of wire still sticking out. I'm gonna take my needle nose pliers and just push those down. So now that they're, they're not there anymore. So you're gonna set that one aside and you're gonna do that same process again. So get yourself a large amount of wire. <coughs> Cut it and repeat the same process. You kind of want to make them similar, so you're going to want to use your other one to gauge about how big you made the first loop. So I'm going to do one about this size. And again, I'm just going to twist it around itself. And then cut that piece off. And then same with the other side. So they're about the same size. They can be a little bit different in size, but as long as it's not too noticeable. And then again, twist it around the center. And then you can cut the wire. And again, you wanna take your needle nose pliers and push in so it doesn't have any sharp edges. So now you have your two wings. So you're going to take another piece of wire and you want this one to be a decent sized piece, probably about the same size as the others, so right around 16 to 18 inches. And you're going to take your clothespin and you're going to lay this beveled edge on top of the wires that you just did, you're gonna stack the two wires, and then you're gonna run this other piece of wire through both sets of loops. So if you can see, I came right through the wings on either side, so you can tell on the back, I came right through. And then you're gonna twist this wire in the front, and then you're gonna go back through the other loop and the other side, the same thing. 
this is what's gonna hold the wings on. So now you're back at this back side with both pieces of your wire and you're gonna twist them. And then you're gonna run it through again, both wings. Same thing on the other side, pull it through and then back through this other side. And same thing with this one, come back through this way. Just keep doing it, so let's do it slow. So now we have both pieces of wire in the back, twist, and then you're gonna come through this side, and you're gonna come through this side with the wire, and then you're gonna go back through this other side with the wire that came from this side. And the same thing on this side. And then you have this. I'm gonna twist these together. And now you have the antenna. And you're gonna wanna cut them to be about the same size. So they're both evenly sized. And then you're gonna take your needle nose pliers and you're just gonna take the edge of the wire, clamp the top of it, and then just spin it around the needle nose. And then pull them out. Let's see, now you have the antenna. And do the same thing to the other side. antennas for your bee. Now I got two that I haven't finished. Now you're going to take your paint and you're going to want your black and your yellow and take your yellow paint and paint the whole bottom half yellow. I'm doing this first so I can let it dry a little bit. I have some old paint. And it's okay if you get it on the wire it wipes right off with your on your finger. And you can paint the whole inside, but I'm only gonna do the inside little bottom pieces here. I'm not gonna paint the whole inside of the That's all done. And now we've got the yellow bottom. And you can hold him by the wire while you paint the black for his head. Just take a little bit of black paint, paint his head. And we used black wire, so it's all right if you get some of the paint on the wire. And the only reason why I didn't paint it before I put the wire on is because when you start wrapping the wire, you're gonna nick the paint. So then you're gonna have to go over and repaint it again. So I figured it would be easier if you just waited until you actually got the wings on to paint. If you wanna do it the other way, that's totally fine. Okay, so now we have the body and the head painted. I'm gonna let it dry for a second. And then you're gonna take your small or smaller paintbrush and you can paint your bee stripes. So you just wanna do this up and down with the paint, with the black, and evenly space them apart. And it's just basically taking the brush and just going back and forth, just like that. 
and it's okay that it's, it doesn't have to be neat or perfect. It's supposed to look a little, little jagged. And I wanna do this all the way down to the bottom. And then you can flip it and do the same thing on the other side. And you wanna kinda of line up, you know, where you had your other stripes. So I usually hold it to the side and I can see where I was with my other one because you can see it. And the next one. And you don't have to be a pro painter to be able to do this. hives or your bee skeps and I had a bunch of them all sitting on a bed spring so I had them all clipped on because they just slide on like this all on a bed spring like this and they just look super cute you put something in the middle if you wanted or however you wanted to embellish it, or you can add them to your beehives that you've been making. Very cute, very easy. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a good day.